A Minute Forecast Weekly Tarot from Monday the 25th of November through to the 1st of December, that Sunday. So we've got some interesting cards for this last week in November. This is the Eight of Pentacles. To me, it's very much about you focusing on your work. Pentacles are how you make your money, your savings, how you buy your house, you know, your car, you get ahead, your school, kids, school, education, things like that. Very focused you are, very perfect these coins are, so that you're very adept and very skilled at what you do. That's that card in a nutshell. You can be missing out on what's going on in town there. So you could be so focused that you're sort of like almost in a tunnel. Because the next card is the Wheel of Fortune. Love this card. It just means that you need to perhaps realise that the Akashic Records, where you're meant to be in life, your book of fate, your chances, your opportunities, you know, the pitfalls that you've had, they've all been designed to make you the person you are today. So the Wheel of Fortune here is to say, thumbs up, we're in the right direction. <clears throat> we're carrying your compass right to where you need to be. All your angels are barracking for you. And the last card, the Knight of Wands. This is the last card for November or even the first for December being that Sunday, although I don't think you're going to be doing much rearing up. And Although, who knows, I can't judge. The Knight of Wands. So the Knight is the action person, the doer. They're quite often between the page and the king and the queen. So they're sort of learn a driver a little bit, but not so much. They've got their knowledge. They've been to, to school and uni and all the rest of it. But they're now experiencing and taking a few chances and trying a few things. I love that. For the end of November, be the knight of wands. Be the person that's a little bit game to spread their wings or test the waters because your idea has really got a lot of growth here. You've got a lot of passion and creativity on that orange horse of yours. The yellow is your personal power. You're not scared of anything. Your helmet's up. You've got your armor on though and you could come across a few speed bumps or a few hurdles but that's not going to stop you when you've got this much oomph and this much mojo and excitement and enthusiasm to get taken to 2025 you've only got December to sort of mold a little bit into what you want to happen in 2025 so I'm loving it all the work that you've done is paying off all those skills that you've gained because the wheel of fortune is saying you're in exactly the right spot even if you feel odd or awkward just know that the enthusiasm that you have deep inside down deep that's starting to bubble up harness it in december for an amazing start to 2025 numbers 8 10 is the wheel of fortune number which is if you have a look at it it's crossroads so 10 18 19 1 and 9 is 10, and I think we had that a couple of weeks ago. 10 rolls back to 1, meaning that you're the driver, you're the magician that's got all the tools on the table to go wherever you want. So yeah, go for it, guys. The world's at your feet. Have a lovely week. Bye now.